In this video I'm going to show you how to connect from a Windows machine to a Ubuntu desktop. So I'm going to be sharing the desktop from my Ubuntu computer which you see here on the right hand side with that of the Windows computer which you can see over here on my left hand side. Now we're going to need to make some configuration changes and this is going to be built into Ubuntu so this is very easy and quick to set up. Click on System, Preferences, and then find the remote desktop. By default, this is turned off, and I've got it turned on already, which is going to allow others, uh, other users to view your desktop. Make sure you also can give them control, otherwise they're just going to be able to view your desktop and not actually have any control over it. So we want both of these selected. By default also, this one is selected, confirming each access to the machine. Unfortunately, somebody has to be present on the Ubuntu computer in order for that to take effect. So I unchecked it, and instead, I will be using the require the user to enter this, this password and you can type in any password of your choosing here for them to be able to type in. So go ahead and add that password and put that check mark in there and we're ready to go. So I'll go ahead and hit close. Now that I've got this up I'm going to need to know what my IP address is to connect to. So I'm going to go back up to applications, accessories and then terminal. And the command I'm going to type in is just ifconfig. hit enter and the address for our computer is 10.0.0.7 so this is the address on my local area network from connecting my to my Windows machine over here to my Ubuntu machine so now that I know this address this is my target that I'm going to connect to keep in mind this is only on the local area network this, this will work if this was a case where we're trying to connect over the internet uh, from one location to another the IP address is going to be your public IP address rather than the one that's given to you on most common lands and so this is this is only going to work within my own local area network now to connect to this we're going to use a program called VNC ultra VNC now I've gone ahead and downloaded it already but ultra VNC quick and easy to find it's uvnc.com and I just downloaded just the viewers all I needed so I'm going to go ahead and double click this and here's my viewer so I'll double click the program and run it a quick easy program and you can see I've already typed in the IP address that I'm going to connect to and that's the only modification I need to do is just type in the IP address and I'm going to go ahead and hit connect and in this case it's going to ask us for the password and uh, that's because we've turned the password protection on so I'll type in the password that I've entered and voila I have now uh, been able to connect to the desktop of my Ubuntu machine on my Windows computer and so I can control this. If you notice here, I'll be able to move both of these at the same time. And so I have full control over my Ubuntu machine from the Windows desktop. Now another thing to keep in mind, there are some limitations to using this type of method to connect to the desktop. Number one, somebody has to be logged in to the Ubuntu machine in order for you to do this. So keep that in mind. You cannot do this from uh, the computer boot up. Somebody actually has to be logged into the computer in order for this to work. And this concludes the video on connecting